Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Kylie Valentine's palette. It comes in this little box right here. So I got this like literally like the other week when it came out. I really, really like it. It's a really nice colour story. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. And when she shared this in her Instagram stories, I was really, really excited to try it because it looks so beautiful. But the only thing I can think like I would change about it is like have the letters in white instead of like a film. But it still looks very elegant, very sleek, very Kylie, like quite a modern sort of palette. I really wish she did these little bras. Can you guys see that? Like they're so like glittery and pretty. Like I wish she did these like actually on the palette or on the back or somewhere. It's quite like plain. I wish she did a little bit more fancy because obviously it being Valentine's palette. I really, really like the colour story. I've actually played with this palette like twice or so now and I really really love the mattes. The shimmers I felt were a bit of a letdown honestly because like I expected them like in the pan they look like they're going to perform like foils like if I showed you guys up close. You see, especially these ones at the end, they look like they're going to perform like foils, but they're actually quite, they're just like normal shimmers. I was actually really let down, like, I know it didn't actually stay anywhere that they weren't anything but shimmer shadows, but I was actually quite good because I thought they'd be way more pigmented. I'm going to show you guys some swatches in a second so you guys can see for yourself. It's such a shame that she won't restock this palette because obviously it's a limited edition Valentine's palette, which is why I ordered it. I don't really order off her that much. I have a few palettes from her, as you guys can see in my palette video. The mattes though, they are gorgeous. I use these two quite a bit. Stunning shades, literally so pigmented, so soft, so creamy, so easy to blend. And I really enjoy using them. I really like her formula, to be honest. I have the bronze palette, the Sipping Pretty palette and the Jordan. Kylie palette as well. Hopefully she'll bring out like a few more cute palettes this year. So that's my general opinion on it now that I've I've actually swatched it myself and played with it. I'm going to show you guys the swatches and see what you guys think. I really like also how that she's got the names underneath the shades here as you guys can see. I really like that with palettes like if they've just got like a plastic film like some of the Morphe ones I'm a bit like mm. I've also got the lipstick and the gloss and the liner on from the Forever set and the gloss is called Story of Us. It looks like this it's like pinky gold you can't really see it but it looks really cute in person like you can see the sparkles more than you can on camera i actually am not a gloss person at all i really like matte lipsticks so this actually surprised me that i really really liked it i wasn't actually gonna like plan on trying any of her high glosses because i i have a few glosses from her collection already like i have the glitz gloss and stuff and i just don't wear it it like doesn't do, do anything for me like i don't enjoy wearing it whereas this i've worn it a couple of times since i've had it and i actually really like it it's really long lasting and it's not like gritty or anything with the glitters it's just like really smooth and it is quite a thick gloss because it's so shiny but you can't like feel it that much on the lips like it just feels like a cream lipstick how like sticky it is i mean like not like the actual consistency so yeah i was really impressed with the gloss and obviously the lipstick the lipstick is called built to last and this is kind of like reminds me of like a different version i think it's slightly lighter than candy k and it's been my new favorite i've been wearing it ever since i've got it literally the last four days i've non-stop worn it so i really really like this obviously they have that lovely vanilla -y cupcake sort of smell that kylie's lip products have i'm looking at getting some more high glosses so if you guys can recommend me one like that's kind of like this like glittery i know there's something like always shining and there's another one like Yes Girl or something I wanted to try. If you guys let me know what they're like down below, then I'd really appreciate that. So back onto the palette, I'm going to do some swatches now. I'm going to swatch the shimmers first and then the mattes. And I'll show you guys how they perform. Okay, so this is Heartthrob. Like a sheer, like a shimmery sort of shade. This is Blush. That is Be Mine. This is Romance. This is kind of classy, and this is love bug. Oh, that's pretty. So these are the shimmers. So these are the six shimmers you get in the palette. They're actually so beautiful. Like whenever I've used the palette, I always apply them with my fingers because I feel like they apply better. I didn't really rate. Like I tried obviously with a flat foil brush. I didn't really like it. Yeah, so I'd recommend applying them with your fingers rather than a brush to get the most pigment. Like if you want them sheer, then fair enough, go ahead with a brush. I even want to wear the brush. They didn't perform that well. So I'm going to carry on with the mattes next to the shimmers. I'm going to start with Princess, which is this light shade here. So this is Princess. This is Pink Problems. This is February. This is Candy Heart. 
Oh, it's actually stained my finger how pink it is. It's not coming off. Oh my god, that's like neon pink. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't tried that shade yet, but that is literally neon pink and it's not going to come off. First love. And then the last one is called Admira. So these are the 12 shades. They are absolutely stunning. I love this palette so much. Like, just the look of it. I would probably just buy it for the look of it. It is so gorgeous. I really love the colour scheme. And this is just beautiful. Like, I really, really love this. I kind of hope she restocks it like she did with the birthday palette. The birthday palette is literally one of my favourite Kylie palettes ever. And I use it, like, on a daily basis. There is a bit of cake back in here. I didn't really notice that before. This is such a gorgeous palette. I hope, like, she does restock this because if you didn't get your hands on it, like, you really need to try it. I know, like, they'll obviously be for sale, like, somewhere, like, on Depop or on eBay or something. Really, really gorgeous. And I really recommend you guys get your hands on them. Even just the mattes. They swatch amazing and the shimmers are just really beautiful. So I really recommend you guys get this palette. So I am going to be creating a few more looks with it. You might see a few more looks on my channel like when I do like makeup tutorials and stuff using this palette I can't remember how much I actually paid for this I think her palettes are like $42 around that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you thought of the shades if you've got the palette what your opinions are of it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys